Financial modeling is a numerical representation of a business model that allows for various scenario planning on the back of documented assumptions. Think of it as an international language between someone sitting in Germany and someone sitting in China where they can actually look at something on a computer and never actually have to speak to each other but say everything they want to regarding a business, a inst financial instrument, uh, coffee prices um, and that any financial model is simple and intuitive. Financial modeling is used across corporate finance and financial services. You have to understand that financial modeling is a skill rather than an actual role. So it's used in corporate finance to sell investments. So an investment banker would use it in mergers and acquisitions to value a company. Uh, an investment banker would use it to value his or her client when they're raising private equity. Uh, it's used by an equity research analyst so that they can build business scenarios so that they can give buy, sell, hold stock recommendations. It's used by um, an options trader to value an option and to model out a swap. Um, it's used by a commodities oil trader to model out oil prices using the crystal ball. Um, it's used by uh, a project finance uh, executive to model out an infrastructure project. So financial modeling is a skill set that's very critical in financial services, but it is not essentially a job in itself. Um, it's more as something that we need to have if you want to be, if you want to have a good career in financial services. So as we were saying, financial modeling itself is a skill set, a critical skill set of being an investment banker, an equity research analyst, a bond trader, a broker, um, an options trader, etc. Um, but the key things you need to be a good financial modeler are a thorough understanding of Excel, a thorough understanding of business fundamentals, financial fundamentals, the way the three financial statements work together and flow in an Excel sheet, the ability to ask the right questions of a business and the environment because when we're doing business scenario planning we're not only taking into consideration what affects a business from the from the inside but also how it's impacted by the industry the macroeconomic and the microeconomic uh, environment as well as the uh, political scenario um, so all of these things get captured in a financial model um, in on excel so you need to have a thorough understanding of everything in in finance to essentially be a good financial modeler because it's a skill set the job roles are of very simply an investment banker um, working in a boutique or a bulge bracket investment bank an equity research analyst working for uh, a mutual fund or on the buy side or um, investment bank on the sell side uh, you can be, um, as I said, an options trade analyst, you can be a project finance, you can be in private equity as a private equity analyst, uh, you can be in uh, actual buy side in corporate finance and be part of uh, the, the budgeting team or you can be a financial controller. Um, you can be in operations because you also have to model out the operations of a company, the operations of your, of what, well, how much are you going to make, how much of what are you going to make and what, how, what are they, what is that being costed at? Um, so it, honestly, it is a wide gamut of roles. Um, it is the most varied skill set and, and I essentially believe the most important thing that you can have if you want to be in financial services. I think again, you have to understand that it, salaries differ greatly for what role you're in and what job you're doing and where you're working. So if you are going to join a valuation firm, anything between four to five lakhs if you're starting out out of college um, to all the way to 15 16 lakhs if you're an associate at an investment bank uh, similar to, to a private equity firm um, it also depends on what part of your career you are in whether you're a fresher an MBA graduate or someone in a, in a later stage of life and it's a lateral shift in a role so salaries are very varied um, but just by in the fact that you are in financial services you can expect to have a lucrative career uh, in the future
Are, is, uh, are there any national or international certifications that can help you stand out from your peers? Absolutely. The thing about financial modeling is that it needs to be learned and it's not something, if you learn it on the job, it actually takes a lot, quite a lot of time. This is a skill set that someone can actually teach you. They can teach you how to model out revenue. They can teach you how to model out cost. They can teach you how to model out depreciation. Um, they can actually teach you how to use the Black-Scholes model and model out an option. Um, what I think it's important to understand is um, courses are very specific to what role you want to play. So in the event, for instance, you want to be in corporate finance and you want to be a financial analyst in corporate finance, that is in an investment bank or an equity research or project finance or corporate banking, the Imarticus Learning FAP course is one of the best courses I've seen where you not only learn the skill of financial modeling, but you're able to uh, practice it uh, in using actual case studies in the context of valuation, in the context of accounting, in the context of uh, forecasting and financial modeling. Um, so the FAP program is an, is an excellent way to learn financial modeling and to get certified. Uh, and of course you learn from the best which is Nematicus Learning.